to the use of frozen paratha series. Frozen parathas are not just good to go with curries, but you can prepare many many other recipes. I'm going to show you how to make empanadas today using kawan frozen parathas. Let's start with making the stuffing first. The stuffing could be your favorite. Today I am preparing uh, stuffing with spinach, mushroom, corn and I have some leftover fried paneer. Tofu can be used. On a medium to high heat, take a tablespoon of oil into the pan. When the oil is slightly hot, add garlic and green chili. Saute garlic and green chili for a little bit. Add onion. Bring down the temperature on a low to medium now. Salt. When the onion turns slightly brown, add red bell pepper. Mushroom. Cook all these ingredients really well. The vegetables cooking nice, looking colorful as well. Ready to add corn and spinach at the same time. Fried paneer. Give everything a really good stir. And now continue cooking until the moisture is gone from the stuffing. So the stuffing is ready. Let stuffing cool now and I'm going to work on parathas. Now for the parathas, you can use the whole wheat variety or you can use the white paratha. Um, today I'm going to use actually uh, both varieties. Take the baking tray, dust dry flour, take out paratha, remove the plastics, allow them to thaw. These parathas thaw very quickly so do not keep them longer. It just takes about 10 minutes. Dust a little bit dry flour on top of the paratha as well. And now here I have the whole wheat parathas. The whole wheat parathas actually defrost in just about 5 minutes. So just keep an eye on them. Alright, so the parathas have already defrosted as you can see now I can bend them so use as much flour as you need and start assembling the empanadas do not over stuff brush edges with water fold in and shape into empanadas like so using the fork press on the edges to seal them really well be sure to follow this step properly otherwise the empanadas will open while baking and just to be on a safe side I also do on the other side the same thing and to show off what's inside the empanadas make some cuts on the top like so place the prepared empanadas onto the baking tray and prepare the rest of the empanadas. Now here I have white plain parathas. I'm going to follow the same steps. Place the stuffing. I have the oven ready preheated at 375 degrees Fahrenheit. So quickly I'm going to prepare all the empanadas. Seal the edges properly again and to escape the air from the empanadas just make random cuts in style it gives a good look like so place onto the baking tray and i have the last one now all right so here i have my last empanada ready as well now use milk or egg wash to brush on top of the empanadas to give that a little moisture and also the brown color 
the tray is ready to go into the oven preheated at 375 degrees Fahrenheit I took out my whole wheat empanadas after 15 minutes and now the white paratha empanadas are ready as well the white paratha empanadas are looking great as well golden brown color and I can hear the crunch as well let the empanadas cool slightly and look at the yummy looking empanadas made from frozen parathas let me show you the inside of the empanadas as you can see they are really flaky crunchy look at them Mm. I hope you can hear the crunch. My favorite to serve the empanadas with tea or coffee. So as you can see how fun full it is to prepare empanadas using frozen parathas. So now on, think beyond just serving your parathas with curries and prepare something really unique. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Please do like and comment below and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for new recipe videos every week. You can also visit my website bahunaskitchen.com for new recipe tips, tricks and ideas in the kitchen. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Uh, Pinterest Bahunas Kitchen is almost everywhere. You can also download Bahunas Kitchen app for free on your Android, iOS and many other uh, smartphones. You can also watch me on a big TV screen using Roku if you have even smart TV on YouTube. Thanks for watching and see you soon.